Nordstrom as well as at Lowe's when he was store managers at both those different stores. Anybody been at Nordstrom before? <laughs> but realize that gratitude is a big part of how he's gotten through some of the traumas in his life, which some of us use gratitude more than others. I tend to use it a lot more. We're getting you some more chairs. Then you know what it's done in Dave's life. He's a project director at Pacific Institute. For those of you that know Luke Tice, he's part of that organization that really builds leaders in whatever they do. And Coach Carroll talks a lot about what he's done for him and making the same honest what they are today. And he was also going to talk a little bit today about building new leadership and what we're going to learn about We Day and how We Day is a big catalyst long term of what we're going to be experiencing the world here, which is coming this world. There's a good chance, instead of 1.2 million members of Rory, we're going to have 12 million because of Rory. He has over 400 gratitude videos, so there's nobody who has more content about gratitude than Dave on the internet. And he's going to talk about how he enhances these lives. But one thing that isn't on the bio is that he's a member of Seattle Rotary. And he has spoken to 23 different Rotary clubs in Seattle, California, and Arizona in the last 12 months. Please welcome David Burke. Mike. 
case, I had already lost my father, my mother, two of my buddies in Vietnam, two of my buddies in Michael graduated from Queen Anne High School. It just went on and on and on. And I thought, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. And I walked up to the deck about two or three days after Dana died. And our house had friends and family and everybody else surrounding us. And I just remember, this is 15 years ago already, it feels like two minutes ago. I remember pinching my skin and going, I'm just a little guy trying to get through life. And I don't think I can do this. And I realized for the first time in my life, I now got why people kill themselves. And I can see why. So we live by Green Lake down in Seattle, a lot of years in Seattle. And the Royal Bridge was very far away. So you just walk over there and you just jump off and I guess that's it. But again, I made the decision, I'm not going to do that. I have two little boys. Kyle was 14, as I mentioned, Connor was four. I'm not going to do it, have them go over to the parents. So I figured out, I better get something to help me. And I hadn't really discovered gratitude yet, but I knew I was going to have to hang in there. And what I realized is so much of it has to do with how you look at life. And as I said, when you've got some paper in front of you, we're going to do a few exercises in a few minutes. <coughs> But I was telling you, don't be looking at your friends. This is just you. This is just how you compute. And so it depends on how you look at things. So I'd like you to all stand up if you'd be so kind. This will just take a second. We just had a nice little lunch there. No, it's a little tight here. And I want you to take it. I notice there's no clock in here, so I'm keeping track of time. But I'd like you to extend your right hand up and start turning in a clockwise direction. And because there's no clock, if anybody's uncertain, here's a watch. This is, the, the high school kids go, I don't know what clockwise is. I have numbers on the clock. And they do. I mean, they do. What is clockwise? It's like this. So start turning it clockwise. Now keep it going clockwise. Now just start bringing it down slowly. Keep it going clockwise. Top of your head, eyes, nose, chin, chest, waist. What direction is it going now?
Ten seconds. Okay, stop. Now what I want you to do, I'll give you another minute, I want each one of you to read to the other person what you wrote about them. So.